Welcome everyone. Welcome to day two of our pre masterclass. Woo! Hope you're all, you're all as excited as I am. Thank you so much. For those of you that joined in yesterday, thank you. And if today's your first day, thank you for joining as well. And we do hope that you are blessed. My name is Debola Riyade and I'm one of your panelists. I know we don't have a physical panel here, but <clears throat> you just have to, you know, see the panel in the spirit. So before I start, I would like to just put out a, a small disclaimer. We are in no way, shape or form saying that we are masters or pros at prayers. Um, I don't think anyone is really. Um, but what we are here to let you guys in on is our love for Christ. You know, we do know a thing or two. Um, and I'm sure that as much as we have pointers to give to you guys, we could also learn. So before we start, um, I would like to just let you guys on a few um, house rules. So for some of you joining in, you might find out that your um, your being put on mute or your video has been turned off. That is intentional. This is just to allow the uh, main speaker <clears throat> just to prevent any distractions and to ensure that you can fully um, hear them clearly. I would start with a mini icebreaker. Um, I'm sure I'm just trying to see how many people have here. So we've got a few people on. So what I want us to do is a mini icebreaker. We want to know who's in the room. We want to know who we have on the call. So what we want to do is I just want to, if you guys can use the chat, um, just if you can make use of the message um, button down there, just use the chat freely. Let us know what your name is and where you're from. So I'll start first. My name is Debola Oriade. I am Nigerian, but I live in London. So I want to know where you guys are from. You let me know what your name is, where you and where do you live, just to have a rough idea of who we have on the on the call. So I'll be I'll be keeping an eye out for the chat and just see who we have. So we've got Kenny from Dublin. Hi Kenny, how are you? Thank you for joining in. So we've got Kenny here from Dublin. We've got Constance from Limerick. Welcome Constance. Lovely to have you. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, we've got Constance. So we've got people from different parts of Ireland. We've got Dublin, we've got Limerick, we've got Tracy from Cork. Hello, Tracy. Welcome, darling. So we've got a few people representing Ireland. Michael from Cork as well. We've got NK from Nigeria. Wow. Um, so we've got Ireland, we've got the UK, we've got Nigeria. This is good. This is good. Well, bless God. Thank you. Thank you, NK from Nigeria. Hi, Rita. Hi, lovely to have you on the call. Kenny, Tracy, Constance. Hello. Wow, this is this is beautiful. People from all over the world, different continents. We've got Maureen from Cork as well. As well. Hello, Maureen. So guys, if you're just joining in, we're literally using the chat just to, um, we're doing a, a mini icebreaker. We just want to know who we have on the call, you know, your name and where you're from, please. So if you could just use the, the chat button just so we can know who we have on the call. So we've got Chizaba from Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome, Chizaba. Lovely to have you. Lovely to have you. How are you guys? How are you keeping it with the lockdown and everything? You know, she's about from Lagos. We've got Favor from Cork Island. Wow. So we've got a few people from Cork, actually. We've got Maureen from Cork. We've got Favor. We've got Michael. We've got Tracy. We've got someone representing Limerick as well. And we've got two people from Nigeria. Welcome, guys. Lovely to have you. We've got Kenny from Dublin as well. So if you're just joining the call, oh, we've got Rema from Dubai. Hello, Rema. Lovely to have you. We've got Ade from Kildare. Lo Welcome, Ade. Adiola from Kildare. Adiola from Kildare. Welcome, Adiola. Thank you for joining in. So if you're just joining the call, we're just using the chat button just to let people know where we're from. We want to know who we have on the call and we just want to, we want to get to know you. Just a mini icebreaker. Ade from Kildare. Welcome, Ade. Lovely to have you guys. We've got Deborah from Cork as well. Welcome, Deborah of Padiro. Welcome, Deborah. Lovely to have you. Wow, loads of people from Cork. I'm, I'm feeling a bit left out. I'm the only one from London in here. So hopefully they do join in later. We've got, um, yeah, so Ade, it's Adeola. De Deborah from Cork. Welcome, guys. How are you guys? Um, We've got Lade from Cork as well. Welcome, Lade from Cork. Thank you so much for joining in. So we're just doing a mini icebreak um, session just to get to know everybody. 
um, if you weren't here yesterday, today promises to be amazing as well. Um, just one second, guys. Sorry. I'm not sure my video is not working. Yeah. So if you weren't here yesterday, today promises to be amazing. Thank you so much for those that did join in yesterday. So it's a three-day program. So we've got day one from yesterday, today, the second day, and also tomorrow. I will start us off with a quick opening prayer while we're waiting for others to join. I'm going to start us quickly with a quick opening prayer, and then we'll wait for others to join in the chat as well. Our Father and our God, so you can please close your eyes wherever you are. Father and our God, we thank you for today. Thank you for the opportunity to gather in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for the desire to gather here to better our prayer lives. Lord, your word says that where two or three are gathered in your name, that you were there. So we believe that you're, you're on, this, on this Zoom call with us and you're hearing us. We ask that you grace us with your presence. We're asking that every single person that's come in here with one need or desire or the other, in relation to their prayer lives. Lord, we ask that you will please answer their prayers in Jesus' name. We also pray that any single problems, any single challenge that anyone in here, as, as, as whatever they brought into this meeting, Lord, we're asking that in a miraculous way, you would please visit them in Jesus' name. We're asking, oh God, for mercy, that in any way we've sinned against you, any sin that might hinder us from receiving from you this evening, we're asking that you please forgive us in Jesus' name. We cover this conference call with the blood of jesus and we open this meeting in the name of god the father in the name of god the son in the name of god the holy spirit for in jesus mighty name we've prayed amen amen in jesus name i uh, will just look and see who else we have welcome everybody welcome so i'll just let you guys know so while we're speaking as i said earlier for those of you that just joined in um we do have um all the videos and um we've kind of put everyone on mute just so we can allow the speakers speak freely and there will be no distractions so if you do have any questions so you've got you can use the raise hands options um in the chat section if you have any questions during um, while the speaker is speaking and also, and you could also use Slido as well. So Rita just put, um, so you've got Slido. If you just go on that um, app and you can type in your questions or any questions you have, you can um, anonymously ask the question. If you go on Slido and enter the code 65366, or you can send a DM to um, FSI Expressions. And so you, if, you, if you don't want to speak um, on the call, you can ask a question um, anonymously and we will be happy to answer your questions. So we've also got some prayer requests as well. If you want to send in any prayer requests, any questions via um, FSI Express, Expressions DM, or if you want to use the Slido option. Um, so I'll run through our, our call for today. So what we are doing is, I'm going to introduce our speaker for today, Rita Douglas. She's going to speak in the next few minutes for 30 minutes. So we have the welcome. I'm just doing the welcome session now. Then we've done an icebreaker. Then we're going to have a guest speaker, Rita, speaking. Following that will be our interactive Q&A session. So that would require you to send in your questions to Slido. Then we're going to have um, our, our brief prayers. You know, we've, we've got some people send us some prayer requests from yesterday, so we would be praying um, for them. And then we would be closing the, the, the conference call at 6.30 p.m. by God's grace. So I'd like to introduce Rita. So Rita Douglas, I'll have you join, um, start your session whenever you're ready there, love. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um, just let me know if you can hear me clearly. Hello, can you hear me? Just thumbs up if you can hear me. Yes, great, awesome. Okay, so thank you so much, Debola, for that introduction and for giving us heads up. Perfect. Okay, so the way you typed yes, we're going to have a lot of engagement. I love to engage when I'm talking. So I don't want it to be like I'm the only one. We are all here with a desire to pray. And um, so we want to grow together. So that's why we're here. Um, so I will be um, looking at my screen just in case you see my eyes move away from, from this angle. I'm just looking at my screen. Um, from time to time. And then I'll have you engage um, with some exercises. So guys, yesterday was amazing. We can do better. Okay, so awesome. So today 
Um, yesterday, actually, let's start from yesterday, a, a, a brief recap. So we learned about how we can, um, Debola told us about how we can become praying um, people. So a praying woman or a praying man. And um, she explained exactly that you have to have desire, um, purpose in your heart, and talk to God as your father communicates. And a lot of, we had, even on the question and answer um, session, we were able to reach, um, answer a few more questions about prayer and types of prayer and how we should posture ourselves and all of that. So that was super amazing just for anyone who wasn't here yesterday. Um, and then today, um, what we'd like to do is talk about a specific part of prayer. So there are different types of prayer. Yesterday we answered on the, on the session that there is intercessory prayer where you're interceding for people. There's also prayer of supplication, thanksgiving, and etc. You know, um, but today we we'll like to concentrate um, um, on what I call meditative prayer. So it is it's a, it's it's just an aspect of prayer, and I feel you guys will be so 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 blessed by this. So please engage and please. Um, stay tuned and give give god your attention because god will be speaking not me i'm just a vessel okay awesome so if any word jumps at you if anything um at all um strikes a chord please leave an, a comment so that someone else who may have not gotten that will just read your chat so everyone everyone will be teaching everyone will be teaching and that's how i like it awesome are we good yes i can hear you screaming yes awesome okay i'm gonna just chill i'm just gonna relax i'm just gonna do my own style which is just to laugh and have fun with god's word amazing okay so um thing okay um first thing first i've just I'm just gonna stay in my room i just want to know if i'm speaking to the right audience I, I i want to know if i'm on the right call okay so let's find out okay so i'm if i if i make these statements you're gonna let me know if it's a yes or a no. So I'll be, I'll try to to go in and out of my chat. So I'll try to multitask today, and God will help me. Okay, awesome. So if I make a statement, I'm gonna watch what your response is. Is it a yes or a no? Okay, ready? Let's go. God says, ask, but don't be too sure you'll receive. Yes or no? No, 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 um, yeah, no, no, awesome. Okay, okay. Moving on. God says, ask, but I may not have it in stock. Yes or no? No, no, never. <laughs> that says never. Impossible. Ah, yeah, I'm loving. I'm loving this. I'm loving my crew today, guys. You guys are amazing. So never. So I said, could never be my God. Impossible. <laughs> awesome, guys. Oh, God. Okay. Next one. God wants me to get answers to my prayers. Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> somebody's like, yes, so. Okay, okay, I see you guys, I see you guys. Okay, final statement, okay? Moving on now, final statement. I want to get results when I pray. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, okay, 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 big yes. Of course, please, oh, okay, okay, I see you. So I'm talking to the right crew. I just wanted to make sure, and I was talking to the right right crew right okay so got it okay let's move on so today um i like to ask are you ready to find out how to receive answers to your prayers are you ready okay yes awesome okay so if you're ready notice i said receive answers to your prayers so if you have to receive something, is it already given for you to receive? Has it been given? Yes, 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 yes. Some people are still doing, hmm, I'm not too sure. 
if someone says take, what do you have to do? You receive, right? You receive, right? You receive, right? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, you can take some time to process. Yes, that's allowed. Receive. So to receive, to get it, it means it's already available. Yes, stretch, you grab it. Some will say grab. Oh, that's like lambano. That's it. You just grab it. Awesome. Okay. If that's the case, let's see. Let's see. How do we receive answers to our prayers? Okay. So let's find out how to receive what God has already given. So we're talking about meditative prayer. Meditative prayer. Okay. So some of you might have already been doing this without realizing. Um, so this will make you more conscious of it and make it a, a practice. While others may not have done it at all, so it will be worth your while. It will be worth learning. Okay. So like I said, I like engaging. So the next one, this, I, I call it, this, I just create this kind of things because it's just fun. So I call it one second, two words. One sec, one second, two words. So I'm going to call out um, two words and then you're going to tell me what you saw or what came to your mind um, once I called, I made that statement. I'll give you an example. If I say a ball, some of you might see a black ball, some might see a, a torn ball, some like something that has just burst. Some might see, um, what now? A ball, just, you know, now, you know what balls are like, different colors, you see different, so everyone will see something different. So I'm gonna make, um, um, I'm gonna call out the words, and then you're gonna tell, you're gonna put, um, just as you did on the chat, in the chat room, let us know what you saw, okay? Ready? Let's go. So one second, two words. Um, the first word is success. What do you see or what comes to mind? Success. Money. Winner. <laughs> Victory. Happiness. Money. Uh-uh. Wealth. Uh-uh. What's with all? Uh-uh. Career development. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting interesting i'm seeing that heaven married okay being content all right okay now we're gonna try this one okay we're gonna try another one higher heights okay okay got you all right so for this one now failure what do you see what comes to mind satan not me fear <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Let's not say whether it's for you or not. Just say what do you <laughs> what do you see? What do you what comes to my ending up in hell? Hmm. Hmm. That's that's deep, guys. That's just that's good. That ending up in hell is real, man. Um it's not a portion. <laughs> okay. What else? See for failure now, people don't want to answer. Because they are stagnation, temporary. Hmm, I like that temporary hmm. okay okay so perfect thanks guys not achieving my goal right right okay so i just called two words and in a second something came to your mind now i said success but it wasn't s-u-c-c-e-s-s -S -S that you saw neither did you see f-a-i-l-u-r-e when i called those words pictures came into your mind and in fact when I was, when I did that one, when I did the exercise myself, um, when I saw, when I, when I, when I, when I said the word success, what I saw was, you know, doing, doing God's will and, you know, just going out and spreading the gospel, blah, blah, blah. But when I, when I, when I spoke about, when I said the word failure, immediately I saw post COVID how there'll be no potato as in the whole streets are dry. Ah, I said, uh, and the more I kept, the more I kept projecting, I could write a book. I was like, why you, why you, why you keep, why do you keep going? I could just be seeing things, like you're just walking on the street, no food, ah, that things are just bad. Everything's just dry. Everybody's just, it's just shrinking. You just shrink. <laughs> you see, it was so easy for me to see and project and project. Uh, uh, uh. I had to stop myself. I was like, it's okay. Okay. So pictures movies short videos were played in front of my eyes just like yourself um so um which one was easier to see success or failure 
success, 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 success. Awesome. Okay. That's great. That's great. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So we're talking about meditative prayer, okay? This is a prayer seminar. So we're, get, we're going somewhere. So everybody, I know you have your notes. I know you're engaged. So um, just focus because you're about to receive. Remember that you're about to receive. Yesterday, Devola told you that God is your daddy. God loves you. And, you know, and a daddy that has so much, like has the whole world. Like he wants to give you everything, right? He wants to give you everything. Okay. So perfect. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm just checking that. All right. One minute. Okay, perfect. So moving on now. Um, I'd like to say that the first thing to note is that those pictures that have come to your mind um, or that come to your mind when we say those words, those pictures have come as a result of your exposure, the experiences that you've had, right? And those, those experiences, experiences have done something over time. Um, so for example, if someone has been through trauma, um, they just have this deep-seated feeling of fear. And so if they, if they encounter um, any form of um, you know, danger, that part of them just they just is the fear just kicks in, and people will be like, "Where did that come from? It, it was there all, all along. It was just in your subconscious." So your mind has your conscious part and the subconscious part. So when we're talking about meditative prayer, we can't we can't but talk about meditation. So, um, for example, if someone has lived in in a, an impoverished area versus someone who has been living in the let's say White House or the Royal House, whatever. They will both have different experiences. If you've been hearing, do you think I pick money on the trees? Do you think I pick money on the trees? You are going to feel like life is hard. Money, to get money is very hard. Okay? Those things over time do something to your subconscious. Now, that part is what Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23 says is your is, is kind of your spiritual mind. It's not, it's 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 very spiritual in nature because you can do you can do something to it. In fact, um, God, the, God's, I, God's will for you is that that part, that part will be renewed. So we want to know how to renew that part. How to, how do we do that? It's not, it's not necessarily um, just reading the scripture. So um, we just so go, oh, um, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Wow, that's nice. Mm, I shall not want. Mm, fantastic. Um, not really. Um, what that does is just um, create an awareness in your consciousness. But the real part that needs renewal is your subconscious because those experiences are there. And God has to do something to them for you to receive, receive, receive. Remember, we're talking about how to receive what God has already given. It is there. Someone said, grab it. You said it to yourself. You thought you were teaching. You said, take it. You know, you said all those things. So, um, so for us to do that, we have to, we have to renew our mind. So we do that by meditation. Now, um, meditation is Ephesians 4.23, Ephesians 4.23. Um, so meditation, I don't mean, mm, neither do I mean, um, Psalm 23, Psalm 23, um, um, the Lord is my shepherd deep. Hmm. That's nice. So that's not what I'm talking about. Too. We have to do the, the one that God said we should do. Okay. So are we ready to know how to take, to take and receive and grab? I like the words that you guys use. It's like, you have to go for it. What God has for you. Okay. So um, second scripture, let's go. Um, um, Joshua 1.8. Joshua 1.8. Some of you can quote this um scripture um you know off of off hand um so we're gonna all read together now just before i read that i'd like to say that the reason why meditation works is because god will begin to create new experiences new experiences you have had those experiences that are 
somewhat unpleasant that have limited you in certain ways and has hindered you from taking and receiving what God has already given you. I can't even stress that enough. So we to receive or to take that, we will have to do something to our, you know, to have to give new experiences, have to replace the old, basically. Um, and so the beautiful thing about meditation is that by the time you engage in it, it does not, it's your mind or your subconscious is not able to differentiate between what you're imagining and what is real. So um, that's, that's, the, that's the key word that to know that your mind, your subconscious cannot tell the difference between what's happening right now, like in front of you, like, you know, uh -huh, and what you are imagining. So you, two of them are similar to your subconscious. It's as real. So your imagination is as real as it's, as, it's like reality to your subconscious. So let's, let's see how to actually meditate um, God's way. Um, so let's go. Joshua 1.8. Um, I'm sh wherever you are, even though you're mute, just say it out loud. Um, one, two, go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, for you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Okay. This book of the law shall not depart from your, from your, <laughs> from your, I have to do that way, from your mouth, from your mouth. But you shall meditate in it day and night that you may what? Observe to do. Observe to do. Meaning, you must be saying the book of the law. Then you will now see something. Observe, observe, to observe, to see, behold. Then it will cause you to do. Awesome. Okay. So is meditation? Mm -hmm. No, right? It can't be because they say the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You're saying them. You're saying something. You're talking. Okay. Awesome. All right. And we want to get something. We want to get. I, I have to say, we want to get what God, what God has given us. We have, we have to get it. I, I don't know if you're if you're game if you're on board. Say yes, yes. Ah, if we're in church, oh, that's why I like the church building. You just say yes, I receive it. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, you can still do that. We are still in church. We are the church, in fact. All right, awesome. So then, what is meditative prayer? Awesome. I can see you guys right done. Okay, oh, <laughs> no, no, we're right into. Okay, so second scripture. Um, second scripture I have for you guys is. Um, Psalms 19, 11 to 14. And I like the message translation because I'm that dramatic. You see why? Um, these are the words in my mouth. These are what I chew on and pray. I like it. Accept them when I place them on the morning altar. altar. Oh God, my altar rock. God, priest of my altar. Okay. I am dramatic like that, but it has some effects. I don't know where I fulfill it. The altar, the altar rock, all those kind of things. We're sending some kind of, yeah, it was dramatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but key words to note is the words in my mouth, these are what I chew on and pray. See, the, the, the saying, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, meaning your, what you are, what you are, what you are meditating on and what you are saying. They are like, if you're asking and you're thinking something else, you're meditating on something else, you are contradicting yourself already. And this scripture will emphasize that. Ephesians 3.20. We're getting to the point. So I hope you guys are following. Um, and again, please drop um, any, and you don't, it doesn't have to be what I said. Something else could pop up at your, um, or the Holy Spirit could drop something in your heart. Please do share so that people can benefit. That's the point. Okay. So. Ephi um, sorry, Ephesians 3.20. Now, to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. So God is able to do exceeding abundantly, above all, you can ask or think. So whether you are saying it out or you are thinking it, 
it is similar. It's like bread or, you know, it's like the same thing, bread or whatever, like cake, whatever, similar. They, they, they both hold same weight, weight, basically. So, okay, perfect. So now, how does this work? We want to receive what God has given us. Enough of the enemy trying to stop us from when he's already there. Like, that's crazy. It's my daddy. My daddy has given me everything. So I want to know, how do I do this meditative prayer? How does it work? Let's go to Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mark 11, 24. Okay. One, two, go. Therefore, I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. I'm like, are they, is they, are they trying to just confuse me or something? Let's read it again. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. <laughs> I don't understand. If I receive them, I will not have them. If I receive, I will not have them. What is that? Okay. It's what I said, that meditation is not, um, when you pray, when you pray, when you pray, you believe that you have received them and then you will have them. So I'll say the second verse and I'll give you a practical example as I tie this up. The second verse that we're going to look at to emphasize that point how does it work? How does meditative prayer work? So stick with me. Um, Deuteronomy 1, 8. Deuteronomy 1, 8. Deuteronomy 1, 8. Okay. It says, see, I have given you this land. Go in and take possession of the land. The Lord swore he will give you to give give to your fathers to abraham isaac and jacob and to their descendants after them i, I know the, the 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 basically the juice was right in front so there's no need to rush see we've come back to see remember when we said that you have to behold okay see 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 i have given it's not say i will give you i have given you this land then you will go in and you possess. Okay. So how does this work? You want to receive what God has given you. You you come to your father like Debola taught us yesterday. You're communicating to him. You say to him, Father, I mean I need a job. Um, please give me a job. But actually, I you, or you come, you just use tongues, you just pray. You pray in tongues, you just say it directly, you hit the nail on the head. That this is what your desire is, this is what your need is. And then having done that, while in the place of prayer, as we were taught yesterday, you get a word from God. We were taught about listening, how to listen. So it's not like God begins to, your ears begin, your physical ears begin to vibrate. Not necessarily. So, but you get a word, maybe it's a scripture, maybe it's a statement, maybe it's a verse, whatever it is, God lays it on your heart. And that's some light that has penetrated into you. That that is not the time to begin to do. I have I have I have no. We have not started. This, now is the time to take it. Now is the time to grab it. Oh, yeah, all those words you, you guys were using. Now it's time to grab it. So when God gives you those words, you're reading the scripture. All of a sudden, it pops out to you. Ah, ah, by the stripes of Jesus, I was healed. Ah, and there's this kind of rubbish pain that's behind it that is at your back. You're like. I was healed like what's going on i was healed so that's where meditation comes in it's time to receive so you go into your closet and you take that scripture and then you keep saying you must say what did what did the word say it's the law shall not depart from your mouth from your mouth it's there it's there that it starts from you keep saying it by the stripes of jesus i was healed I was healed. Ah, ah, me kabase. Ah, okay. Now I, I just realized that I'm not, I'm not in my room. Um, um, sorry, but I'm actually teaching. But okay. So, um, so by scripture, I was healed, and then you keep saying that. You keep saying that. Do you know what happens? What happened with the success and failure? A picture comes. A picture comes. So you begin to see the healed version of you. The healed because. 
if you could not walk, you see yourself walking because you, ah, it is there. God is not about to do anything. He told you since ages past, it is finished. He's not about to do anything. God is resting. God say, and yeah, on the seventh day, and the Lord rested. All the things that you want to bring heaven down, ah, God, you must do it now. It's not now. It was, it's, it's when you are ready to receive it. That's your morning. And you receive it by meditation. So that's the work. That's the exercise of the spirit. That because your subconscious has been telling you it's not possible. Your subconscious has been telling you that from experience, have you seen anybody? Have you seen anybody that woke up? Have you seen anybody that rose up from the dead? Have you seen? Eh, you, is, you, you will see it from the word. You will see it. You will see that. Uh -uh. So I can actually put my hands on somebody and they will be healed. Uh -uh. Is the, the, the word of God will give you new experiences as you begin to meditate, as you begin to say those scriptures out, out loud. Pictures will be formed, videos will be formed. You can see, you can literally meditate yourself into your future. Then you, then someone will be telling you, oh, you know, you can't do that. You're like, I've done it. I'm already a doctor. I, I'm already a doctor. What I say, I cannot be. I, I'm already a doctor because I have gone into my future through meditation. And just the same, that's the same process that the devil takes you to see all those ugly things that you see that keep you in bondage. This is how um, cycles of addiction also take place because people see how, how they will keep falling. They will keep falling. How, you're seeing it all. You don't know that you're, you're, you're a king or you're a meditation king or queen. So, it's time to use it God's way. You speak, you speak, you speak what God says. Pictures begin to form. As, you, as they form, you hold it. You capture those, you capture it, you capture it, you capture it. You said this is, and then what happens is those pictures become too real. Remember what I said, your subconscious cannot determine between reality and imagination. So it's to the subconscious, like this is happening. Oh my God, it's happening. It's happening, you know? So it's a done deal. And as you do that, as you do that, the more you do that, you can, you can actually feel it. It's like a drum. It's filling up. It's filling up to the point where you scream. Ah, ah, I have it. Ah, ah, because it was already there, guys. It was already there. So you say, I have it. I have it. Okay. It's like I've been talking in parables. So I'm going to tie it up with, a, with this example. Okay. And it's a personal one. So it's my own example. Um, I like meditation because it's like a two-edged sword. It's like, it's dealing with your, your mind. It's dealing with what's going on inside of you. It's changing you as well as the situation. In fact, the situation was never, it's just that you had to capture. You had to capture what exactly God had given you. No chance for the devil. Like, bye. Okay. So, um, what happened was, I was, uh, we were not so, we were not, I, I wasn't, um, we we're not so well to do or I don't even know how we're going. We, so anyway we were struggling financially when I was younger we were struggling financially and dad my dad was due to um retire soon so I was just like okay this poverty life is, is that's what it is is what it is what it is okay so my self-conscious has been used to poverty oh lord Jesus oh lord oh lord you see why I need to meditate <laughs> so <laughs> so then um one of these days while I while that was happening, right? Um, wh while I just you know process, I, I just began to talk to God. So I'm showing you the practical way of how it works, how the meditative prayer works, um, how to take what you have been asking for. Don't don't be take it. It's there. God has given you, right? Okay. I'll show you that it's been there all along. It's just we have just been cheating ourselves. Okay. So I I I, I then came to God in prayer. I said, Father, um. Um, ch change our story now. Change our story to glory now. Like what's happening? This, 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 this is not the life. This is not the life you, you called us. It's change our story to glory. <laughs> anyway, so I was just praying about um dad's job. And, uh, he's due to retire. Do something about it. And in the process of praying, in fact, I had finished praying, right? So and then I left. Um, I went to do some house chores. Okay, so while. I was doing the house chores and um, literally what I heard was in my spirit. And this one I did like this. Someone would say, hey, she's hearing, you see? No, in my spirit. I, well, it was quite, it was, it was quite loud, very audible in my spirit. Uh, not yeah, but mm -hmm. okay. So, so then I, I said, um, I heard, is it too late to make your dad a millionaire? 
guys, please, if it's you, what will you say? Uh, 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 did I start looking for a million? I say I'm looking for, is, we are in Zeronia. Zeronia. We want to now move from Zeronia to Melonia. Dad is about to retire. How is it going to work? That's not, that's not what I came for now, Lord. Uh, so I, me self, I wanted to slap myself like this is not right. Behave yourself. What are you now hearing? What are you hearing? You've been hearing this, so you say it's not. It's, it's God. I said, how can you move from Zeronia to Melonia? Oh my God! I just right now as I'm talking, I just saw that that's exactly what happened to the Israelites overnight. Overnight, those people there to go and borrow, borrow silver, borrow gold. They're blue. They are blue. They are blue. <laughs> they just blew overnight. This, this is crazy. Slaves became. La, uh, you know, land owners and all of it. Anyway, let me get back to the to the my test, to my testimony. So, um, I said Zeronia to Milonia. Then, all, as I was processing that thought, it got to me that that's like when God was asking Jeremiah, "Is anything too difficult for me?" I think in Jeremiah thirty-two twenty-nine or twenty-seven, it's anything too difficult for me. So I was like. Ah, Rita, God asked, and, and, he, and his response was, um, no, no, nothing. You are the God of all, nothing, nothing. Okay. So I'm like, hey, Rita, behave yourself or answer the right way. So I, me, I said, nothing, nothing, Lord, nothing. Now, if it was someone, someone would just jump on, that at, jump, at, jump on that and say, wow, I received Rema. It's done. It's done. No, bye. I had to, I had to chew that word. I said, no, it's time to meditate. So I, I then said, meditate. Milonia. What does it even look like? Guys, I didn't even have any picture of being a Milonia. You see, all along, my subconscious is used to zero. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, I had to start picturing. What do it even look like for us for us to have thousands and thousands? Then to not talk of millions. Okay. How is it going to be? What, like, will my dad be fairer? Because it's that. <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? I had to start picturing what millions look like. And, guys, I realized that the problem is me. I started thinking, I said, oh, oh my God, that looks like dad would be able to get me a phone because I was still in college and I didn't have a phone. I said, oh my God, like, imagine dad getting me a phone of, like that, that time it was the S6 or something that was the, the, the most um, recent um, release. So, uh, so I was like, imagine me getting a phone. I was like, that's not going to happen. But then I was like, no, 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 let's, let's go with this. Let's go with this now. She, she is God that put himself on this. Let's go with this. So I said, ah. That's what it looks like. We will now have a house. We will now have a guy. Guys, I started playing the movie of my future. Hey, Mashaka. I started playing the movie. I started playing the movie of my future. I was just like, ah, this is it. This is it. I'm just going to uh, we'll, we'll travel. So I started seeing the real, the real, 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 real aspect of being a millionaire, what it looks like. It came right in front of me. So I was saying it. All of a sudden, I burst out in prayer. Remember, we we're talking about meditative prayer. How to take what God has given you. We, I burst out in prayer. I said, My goodness, I have it. I have it. That is a millionaire. I did not, I did not, I, I, I did not start saying, I will receive it. It's not future. I started giving God thanks. It, it, like, it's, my God, that is a million. Look all the houses we've gotten. Look all the lands we've gotten. I'm talking in the past because it is done. It is there. Look, all, look at what God has done with my life. It's amazing. It's amazing. Guys, that's exactly, that's exactly how we finished that. I finished that in, in my head that was acting drama. And then what happened was the same day in the evening, my dad called and was like, Mm, I don't understand what this is about, but my company called me. This guy is due to retire, so I don't know. Um, they called me and then they said that they are they're trying to promote people, blah, blah, blah. I don't even get the email. I'll call them on Monday. And I was thinking, no, now. I know that I wanted to, as in, I know that I was praying, this, but I don't think it was going to happen fast, fast. Like, no, no, no. No, it's not, it's not, it's not true. I was not, I was not trying to it, it say it's a lie. It's a lie. I held on that image. I, ho I went back to that image and I held it on again. You see what, med you see that meditation is not just, you just go and sleep. No, you hold it. You hold it because it's there. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It has been given. So I went and then on Monday, on Monday, see, oh, this is Sunday. Monday, that is a millionaire. <laughs> it literally became a billionaire. By the time they added all the benefits accrued, that was that was actually what happened. Um, and then at least he became a billionaire before he retired. 
God's will was accomplished all along. Who, if, I, if only, if only I knew earlier, I would have been doing it. And I'm <laughs> and I'm ah, my husky is here. Are you come on, guys? See, you have it. It is there. You think God is about to not be sending the car? No, it is there. Your babies are there. Your lands are there. All that you require for life and godliness. Ephesians 1 3 says, God has blessed you with all spiritual blessings. Now, that's in the spiritual realm. You do the work, you do the meditative prayer and bring it into the physical. That's it, because it is there. If you ask God, where is the land? He'll tell you, I, I, I have given. I have given. It's not about to. I have given. Hallelujah. I have given. Um, and so in the last one minute um, that I have, I'd like you to know that God, the last point that I have is God has given you everything. Everything. Given. 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 God has given. That's point number one. If you are, if you're, if you're confused all along, please don't. don't. God has given you everything. Number one. Number two. Number two, God has given you everything, number one. Point number two, you need to receive it in your spirit before you have it in the physical. Matthew, uh, Mark eleven twenty four. right? You believe, you receive, and then you have. So you do the work through meditation, you get it into your spirit, so much so that it, beyond reason, in fact, if somebody taps you, are you, what are you saying? I have it. I, what, this thing is real. It's so real to you. That's when the enemy can never take it. And finally, give thanks. You thank God because you know it's already done. It's in the past. It's already done. You, you were already, you, you already became the millionaire, you, you know, that you wanted to be and it happened straight away. So I hope that was a blessing and um, thank you guys for engaging and listening um, as you um, practice. I pray that you will begin to experience and receive all that God has for you because he, he is giving you everything. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you so much for that session, Rita. That was that was so amazing. That was literally so good. Guys, please, please go into the chat box and say thank you, Rita, and give her, show her all the love, show her all the love. That's amazing. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Rita. That, that was just so good. I love the way that you took it. It was kind of like you took us on a journey. You started off with, oh, let's talk about success or what image comes to your mind. And then you took us to failure. So I was didn't want to think about failure at all. But it really goes to show the power of words and thoughts. How with just a word, you get to see pictures and images and videos and all of that sort that you begin to make up um, in our minds. And then really, really what I love about your session is that you tied it all in and showed us that we can really, really take this um, act of meditation based on the word of God, not some kind of hmm or yoga or whatever it is that people do out there. Meditating on the word of God and bringing things that are already true in the spiritual realm, bringing it into our physical realm. So that was such an amazing time. Thank you so much, Rita Douglas. Okay, guys, it's time for question and answer. And um, if I'm looking away, I'm looking at my screen. I'm just going to share my screen now and so we're just going to really engage with ourselves in this session if you have any questions at all you can please either send right here on um on the probably better but just to raise up your hand use the raise um raise hand function and one of our co-hosts is going to unmute you and you can speak alternatively you can go to slide or sli.do the link will be shared in the chat box now as we're speaking sli.do and you can enter the code um, 65366 and share your questions or prayer requests anonymously. It's all going to be um, anonymous. Okay. Um, our panel for this session is myself, Maureen Ihua, there's Debola Uriah Day, and also Rita Douglas, who just um, taught us about the prayer of meditation. But before we begin to take questions from the audience, I just really, really want to ask Rita, um, this meditative prayer is so powerful. Like we've seen now, uh, you got your phone, your dad became a millionaire. Thank you so much for that example. But like I realized, how can we be, how do we deal with distraction when we're trying to meditate on the word of God in prayer? Um, how does it work? How do you really stay focused? Because like for some of us, we can't even stay, look at a video for one minute, talking of being in your mind, where all kinds of 
of things are flooding your mind. And um, so how really practically can we uh, manage distractions when it comes to meditative prayer? Well, first off, um, I'd say that you have to be in a quiet place um, take away all the distractions that, I mean, physical distractions. Then there's also distractions in your mind where you're thinking about the food you're about to make, you know, all those kind of stuff. Um, but what you do is, as you say those words, um, it's, it's, it's the way that the Bible says that you should take those thoughts captive. So those strained thoughts in your mind, those are all sorts of things that are not, um, that are not supposed to be, that are distracting, you, you literally bring them captive with the words that you're saying. So if you just quietly say in your head, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, for example, maybe you're dealing with um, self-image or um, addiction or whatever, um, um, you get easily distracted than when you voice out something. So if I'm, talk, if I'm saying I'm going to work, somehow, somehow, your mind, is, your mind will start registering that, oh, you're saying something, so I shouldn't be thinking something else. So you're taking that thought captive. And then you, you that's, that's a conscious thing until the practice becomes easier as you go along. Thank you so much. So really giving voice and power to your, your words by speaking them out and not just thinking them in your mind will really help to zone in your attention. And then, um, yeah, that, that, that was really great. So I just want to ask as well, you really mentioned how we can meditate on the word. How does it work? Like, do I just keep reciting this? How do, you, how do people pray the Bible, especially Debola as well? You do a lot of praying the Bible on social media. How does that work practically? So do I just start reading Psalm 91, the Lord is my Abbey. I said the Lord is my shepherd, did I? Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Do I just keep repeating, 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 and then hope that someday um, I'm going to get a breakthrough? What? How exactly does praying the Bible and meditating with the Word of God um, work in prayer? And whether you or Debla can speak to that, please. Um, before Debla, okay. Um, don't don't pray without the pictures, because that's what has been happening. People are just like, I'm just going to confess the word. I am the righteousness. I am the righteousness. There's no substance inside of you. You have not seen anything. You must behold before you become. So um, what happens is you have done that process over and over again. As you're saying, the Lord is my shepherd. Don't be saying, the Lord is my shepherd. You are looking around. You are observing the chair. What, what's that? You are, you, what is it? Who is a shepherd? You will see somebody leading you. You will see somebody guiding you. Okay, shepherd of what? Of what? You, what do you need shepherding in? Do you get me? You begin to die. The more you direct your focus about that scripture, it becomes very, 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 you, it's as if you are hitting the target. Then you know, because the Lord is my shepherd is so vague. You can shepherd you anything, anything you want. So do you need shepherding in your schoolwork? Tell him, the Lord is my shepherd in chemistry. I see myself. I, I see the chemistry. So the Lord is my shepherd. He teaches me. He guides me. That's what shepherds hear his voice. The sheep hear his voice. So before you know it, lots of other scriptures come, come as you go along because the spirit of God obviously will help you. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. So behold, um, before you become. And when you think of the words that is, that is in um, the scripture, go down the line so shepherd shepherd ask this shepherd of what what does the shepherd look like and that's how you keep on processing the thoughts in your mind thanks so much for that Debla, what do you have to say um on that <coughs> i'll say kind of like what rita said earlier like some of us have probably been meditating and we you know we've been doing it and i've actually probably realized that now um in relation to pray the bible because where you know the whole concept came from is when you're reading the word of god <clears throat> you know as she said you're reading the word of God and you, 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 you find yourself reading the scripture and it's, you know, let's say, as you said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And you're reading it out and you're like, wow, the Lord is, I, I really would not want for anything. And for me, when I'm in the word of God, that turns into a prayer like, wow, God is saying this to me. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep reciting this and praying this. The Bible says the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. So for me, I, in repeating that, I didn't, I actually know that I've been meditating on God's word. And I actually find that most of the revelation that I get while, while I'm in the word comes from me praying the word. And I think that's what Rita says in that. Imagine me sitting there praying, yes, the Lord is my shepherd. The revelations that I get um, when I minister often comes from me reciting and praying the word. And that's what she's trying to say in that the minute you keep talking about a shepherd or reciting that word you start seeing a shepherd then i start sh seeing a shepherd and i get a, a rema a message that i have to to give to people so i actually 
do you know I've been meditating by praying the Bible, but I can I can definitely testify to you seeing more than what you're reading. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for that. So Michelle N is raising up her hand. Can one of our co-hosts please um, unmute her so we can take her question? Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Hi. So my question is um just based on what Rita, Rita was talking about. Like sometimes we can be praying for something and it might necessarily not be the time that God um wants maybe it's not the time for that thing to come to pass in your life, whether it be, for example, maybe you're praying for marriage. So, but then sometimes as well, you can kind of let your, your thoughts get ahead of you. You start maybe fantasizing about these things. So how do you separate meditating on what God wants for you in that moment in time and your own thoughts? Great. So how do you, thank you so much for that question, Michelle. How do you separate from God's word and your own personal thoughts? And I think that's a question that a lot of people really get to have. You know, there's, you know, there's a Bible somewhere in your mind, but then there's still all of these thoughts flooding through your mind as well. If anyone wants to speak on that. Um, I'll go for it. Um, so, like I said, everything, the man, the kids, the home, they're all given. All given. You may not have the, sov- you don't have the sovereignty of God's power to allocate time. There's a time and a season for everything. But you have the, the, your work is to do this process. You go through the process, whether or not, you know, like, it's not like it's a quick fix. Like if I do it now, in three months time, my man will show. No, it's, it's more, it's more that. And the beautiful thing is there's, there are benefits of even doing it while you're waiting or in court. Um, because you will still, you will get not only what you've asked for, but remember your mind is being renewed. So a lot of other things in your life, you will see possibilities where you thought were impossibilities because you have been meditating and um, you have been praying meditatively. So even though you're not sure um, or you do not know, because there are some times where God will specifically tell you it is now, <clears throat> go for it now. Like you, you, you feel the urgency, the impression you will know that there's the job is this one is this one is not another one so you will not procrastinate you will not move it forward but you should know that when it comes to timing it's in god's power and there's a time for everything so you must um keep at it until because you have it already but it will just it's just up to god to reveal the Thank timing you. for you Thank you so much for that. So I'm just going to look at uh, my screen um, where I have Slido, where we have all of the anonymous questions coming in. And just because of our time, I tried to match a few questions all together. I hope that answered your question, Michelle. Thanks for asking. So there's a question here that says, are we expected to pray all day long? And if yes, how? And in addition to that, that question, I'll try to uh, also merge the next question. I always forget to pray. What do I do? So are we expected to pray all day long? If yes, how do we, how does that work? You know, the word says pray with us is in Brazil, literally mean 24 hours a day or what's the story behind it? And I do always forget to pray. What do I do in that? Um, in, I'm, try, I'm going to try to answer the second question. Yesterday, Devola taught us or shared how um, building a prayer life really gets to the depend on us being very, very intentional in creating specific prayer times. Now, does that mean that, okay, if I miss, if I wanted to pray at 5 a.m., well, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., and I miss that time, does that mean I'm never going to pray or I have to be so rigid about it? Not necessarily, but putting ourselves in a place where we want to be disciplined about our prayer life and being intentional about it. Just, just the same way you know that I have to go to lectures from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and I can't afford to miss this, right? So we're intentional to say this is my specific prayer time, but if there's anything that comes up, I can be a little bit flexible about it, but I'm creating a, a routine out of that. And with that, maybe you can set an alarm on your phone. Um, I have several alarms on my phone that tells me it's time to pray um, and pray for different things. So at 3 a.m., I'm praying for this, like this, I'm praying for that. You know, using all the technology around you to help your prayer life um, is what I'm going to say to that. If anyone wants to answer the question of, we expect that to pray every day, I mean, all day long. Um, I, I, what I will try to say is we need to go back to what prayer means. Remember, we talked about that yesterday. The prayer is simply a conversation with God. So, I, I, you know, people often think that you need to take, you need to come out of your everyday routine or you need to separate your life from God. Remember, God wants to be in a relationship with you when you're cooking, when you're in the bus, on the bus station, when you're, when you're, when you're on the toilet. 
when you're everything you're doing, you can involve God. People often, we often think that we have to hide certain areas of our life from God, then come back and put on our God hat to say, okay, God, I'm here. You could pray every, when the Bible says men ought always to pray. Of course, it's good to have a secret time. That is to build discipline. But you can also pray, you know, you can be washing the dishes and saying, wow, Lord, thank you that I, you know, I often say Rita, Rita does that all the time. Like, wow. You know, if you've ever seen Rita when she's about to eat, like, God, thank you so much for this food. Like, I can't believe I actually cooked it. You know, that is you praying. Like, you could, you could put on your makeup and say, wow, all my days, God, I, my makeup is so beautiful. You know, so if you try, if you really believe that God is your friend and God is everywhere, you would just speak to him. Whatever you're doing, just be like, wow, God, thank you for this seminar. Thank you that I could put on my laptop. The minute you start doing that, and, and that kind of involves meditating as well, like in you just constantly keep it in your mind that God is everywhere in everything I do, you find that you're already praying. Yeah, thank you. Um, just to add to that as well, there's a, there's a time where we're always asking this question, oh, can I really pray always and things like that? But there's something that um, I learned recently, or at least in the past few years, which is praying under my breath literally I could be talking to you and I'm praying under my breath. Um, I could be studying and I'm praying under my breath. I could be working and I'm praying under my breath. So tomorrow, hopefully we'll get into the more specifics of how to go about that. So this, I'm just going to take one more question on this, uh, on this particular issue. So this person is saying, how long do you have to pray for or meditate on a word as a new believer and beginner friendly word um for prayer so how long do you have to pray and meditate um this is going to be a very quick answer in about 30 seconds just because we have a number of questions to go through as well so how long do, does the person need to meditate on this word of god and pray on it as a new beginner or as a beginner coming to christ newly the spirit of god will let you know <laughs> okay that's a very very spiritual answer let's break it down what do you mean by the spirit i of say god just start me? somebody Nobody's telling you they don't know what do you mean how would no, 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 no. i was just joking because you said 30 seconds but i mean it's just, okay anyway um the the convictions will build up inside of you um you're going to you're going to know that it's like like i said it's like you're filling a tank you will know when you're 50 percent. you know when you're 60 you know when you're 100 and that's where the it's like a eureka moment ah i have it nobody's taking it from me okay thank you so much for that so guys please engage in the chat box if you're not able to go on slide though um if you're not able to go on slide though you can send the message on the chat box or you can raise up your hand and we'll give you the opportunity to speak and ask your questions okay so another question that i'm going to ask now is moving away a little bit from meditation prayer um so somebody is saying i feel like my friends pray better than i do so i get intimidated to pray with them and how can i overcome this so there's a bit of uh not just like there's just so many so much energy everywhere um but i don't know how to pray the way that my friends do how can i overcome that i'm going to start off with this right so when i listen to rita pray let's just be so practical you know one day i was like oh my gosh i need to start praying like rita because lisa rita literally prays the word she's talking oh father in the name of jesus and she's she's going all out and talking, talking. She, and her words are so apt i'm just like you know when you're in church and you can hear the other person's prayers so somebody mm. like it. i'm just like oh my gosh what's going on here because my personal prayer uh, 90 or 95 percent of my prayer is in tongues so i pray in tongues i sing in tongues i chant in tongues everything in tongues so i'm just wondering does that mean that i don't know what to say and i do you understand all of those kind of comparisons going on in your mind but we actually talked about it i said to her listen the way you pray i, I don't understand and we had a chat about it we laughed about it but we came to the conclusion that everyone is unique in how they pray and rather than being rather than being a place of comparison and feeling down about how another person prays i could admire them I could tell them to teach me how they do it. Like we're here talking about praying the Bible, praying, seeing meditative prayer, and I'm learning from how Rita is praying. And I'm going to probably add that to my own to expand my, my reach as well, um, rather than being intimidated, understanding that God um, knows that we are all unique in how we communicate with Him and how we relate with Him. And that's just the way it is. Rather than comparing and feeling bad, you can speak up to your friends. How do you do this? Tell me how you do it. Just keep on observing them. And if it's something that you desire will automatically flow in that direction as well so i'm going to move on to the next question just so that we can get as much as we can so um if someone wants to speak up they can also raise their hands we're, we're open um to that as well so someone is asking how do you pray when your heart burdened or going through a tough time how do you still pray in those kind of difficult moments 
and you play with a song <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the ways um so that's how i learned praising so when 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 you're you don't have the right words you're going through something you don't have the right words someone has sang a song that has addressed that situation directly um so like you are my strength strength like no other before you know it, it's like yes lord you're actually my strength before you know you start talking <laughs> so get a song and um, it will help you um that's one of the ways also so thank you for that rita but i want us to go into a little bit more detail what goes on in your mind when you're singing with a song? Do you just keep saying what the people um, say in the songs or, and do you listen to the song just once? So how, what exactly goes on in your mind? Because you do that very much well um, on social media. Um, so basically what you do is you are my strength. You're, somehow, somehow, as you're saying that, you realize that it's true. I, there have been times when I've been weak and I couldn't carry myself. So there's definitely a force inside of me that has been keeping me going. Then you realize, ah, God is the strength of my life. It's a Bible verse that has just come to you. And then from there, you're, you begin, all of a sudden, it's this strength, the actual strength, the spirit, it comes. It will actually come and it will jack you up. So it's, it, is, it is actually, again, meditating on the song. That's how praising happens. If you meditate on the song and you will now have a, your own song. You know when the Bible says sing your own song, sing a new song on tape, you will have your own song and you will, you will be able to make your personal declarations and pour out your heart unto God. Thank you. Thank you. Debra, any thoughts on how we can pray in difficult times? Um, well, what I try to remind you is what we talked about yesterday um, in God being your father. You know, so when you're going through, a, a, you know, a difficult period, if you remember that, if you can't speak to God, your father, about your difficult period, like who else are you going to say it to? And the funny thing is, I know that it's the, the initial part of it. The hardest part is just getting into that place of prayer that, you know, and I, and I show you that the minute you do just, just go on your knees. And even if you cry, like I find like my best cries are when I cry to God. Like there are times whereby I, 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 hold, I take in so much. And even just break, when you just, even just going on my knees and cry, even if you don't have the words to come out, like God knows your heart before you even say anything. He knows it, you know, just going on your knees and just, ex that's a form of expression. If you look, if you read your Psalms, the way David spoke to God, he sometimes, it, it doesn't sound like what we call prayers. He literally just expressed himself and you crying is a form of expression. So in you just start in there, even if you just say, Lord, help me, Lord, I can't, Lord, what? That is you speaking. And I'm telling you over time, you find that you, you God gives you the strength to 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 express yourself more, and you 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 just find the words. So I say, whatever you can do, just believe that even your your you expressing yourself is a form of prayer to God. So just your keep silence is okay as well. well. Mm -hmm. and silence yes. is okay silence okay is a form of well. prayer as well just yeah, keep on expressing yeah. yourself pour your heart to god and i'm just going to add to that remind yourself in those difficult situations that god has done something for you before through prayer that you have actually had victory because if you're going mm -hmm. to be honest with yourself you will be honest there's so many things that we've prayed before that we've seen the results of um just remind yourself of that yesterday i shared um a testimony if you want to call it that um, of how one of my friends thought or had, had been having symptoms as though they have the brain tumor and one test that they had done kind of indicated something similar. And I said to the person, listen, you're not going to have any brain tumor. And I was speaking by the spirit of God and they came back, they went to another test again and they came back and there was no brain tumor. So for me now, if I'm in a difficult glory to God and if, if I'm in a difficult situation next year or any time, I remember, oh, no, no, no. My friend would have had the brain tumor and would have died, but God saved him in that moment. There's so many times what I prayed as well, where um, there was a season where I was praying literally at the same time I was praying, my dad was being um, hurt by some armed robbers who had come to our house. And at the exact same time, God was working the miracle that saved his life. So when you remind yourself actively of those kind of situations where God has come to for you in prayer, it gives you a, an encouragement and, and gives you real hope. It's, it makes you to see that God is who indeed he, he says that he is and then you have the grace to continue pressing forward so thanks for that i'm just going to read a quick chat um somebody sent uh, on the chat box so this person is saying they have a friend who doesn't believe in god um just in summary um they had the, he and his friend has been have, have been praying for a particular issue for for such a long time and now they seem to be having some kind of a breakthrough but the other friend still does not believe that it is god and how do you um pray for somebody like that and how do you deal with this kind of situations first off i'm going to say 
you know exactly that that is a miracle from God. So don't allow any other person begin to convince you otherwise. You know that you would not have received that breakthrough had it not been God who came true for you. Because if we, I, I know a little bit about this story, but if you want to be, you know, flesh it out, you know that you actually prayed actively for this. And this is God answering your prayer. The next thing that you can do is keep on speaking to the person. You share your faith with the person that listen, I know that this is not some random coincidence because I prayed specifically for this and God has answered me. And you let it be you don't have to push a person they will also get to see over time that god will you know those miraculous things and they can they can also come to their own personal um conviction okay another person is asking is there a link between meditative prayer and faith and if so what is it i just want to quickly say something about that the, the previous question that you know what to do now through meditative prayer it's just like you have a partner, like a husband and a wife. If the husband and the wife are in a dispute, it's a disagreement, you literally see them come around. You see them come to you. Like it, this, is, this is how you use the word of God. You see him come to you and be like, um, actually, about that, I think this makes sense. You see it till he, till he will show up at your door, knock you and be like, I'm ready to go ahead. It happens. You use, the med- you use it. It works. Um, is there a um, link between meditative prayer and faith? Yes, because faith is the substance. What you're doing by meditation is you're literally gathering that substance. It's the treasure. You're putting it inside of you. And, be, and what happens is as, it's, as you, that's why you say, oh, my faith is, is on another level. You get to that point. Your faith is increasing. It's building up. And, um, and as you meditate, because how do you get faith? By the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Exercise thank you so much for that um so thanks for the engagement guys we're going to take one last question just because of our time so somebody is saying um they recently listened to a message about letting go of list and so the things that you have seen for your life and surrendering to god's will how can you meditate on god's will for your life when you have seen a picture of what you believe you should look like and you've been praying on that vision so how can you meditate on god's will for your life when you have already seen a picture of what um you believe your life should look like and you've been praying on that particular vision. Dipla, can you speak on that, please? Um, I'll, f- I'll start by saying, you, if you're saying God's will, then you can't say what you think. So the fact that you've already called it God's will, it means you can't put your opinion in it. You know, I, I said it yes, a while back, like people, we often talk about, God, let your will be done. But when God do- does his will, we're like, no, actually, no, that's, this is not it. Like, I, I know I asked you for a husband, God, and you're giving me this guy, but I thought he's going to be dark skin. So the, the key answer there is you saying God's will. So what, what I'd expect you to do is to ask God, Lord, give me, let me, let me understand your will for me. So rather than you trying to create, it's like you're trying to create something different. If you're saying it's God's will, if God hasn't given you a sign or a message to confirm that that isn't his will, um, it it sounds like you're trying to create something different for yourself. So you need to understand or ask God. You need to change your prayer point. God, reveal your will to me. That's what I'd advise you to do. Thank you. Meditation Um, renews, sorry, meditation renews your mind. So it says and you will know what is that good and acceptable and perfect with romans 12 2 mm-hmm. so in doing that you will you will know you will be able to distinguish what is good what is acceptable and what's god's perfect will and then it's up to you to obviously yield thank you and i'm just going to add to that as well because the brother said ask god for god's for his own will and there's you know god can show you his will through the word he can show you his will through a dream he can show, show you his will through a vision he can show you his will through a friend from nowhere texting you to say um you know i think you should do this and do this and you hadn't even even shared that experience or that situation with that friend he can show you his will through you are in church and your pastor is just saying there's somebody here xyz and xyz and you're like okay what's going on here you know so you can based on what i've just shared you can ask god show me your will through different ways so that i can know exactly what i'm focusing on i you know if my mind was in a in a different kind of way i don't know exactly um how i need to you know reorder that and pray exactly for your will so whether true dreams you can say lord tell one of my friends what you want me to do um and i'm not going to share the situation with them so that you know that when they actually come to you you know it's quite legit so that's one practical way that we can ask god to show um us his will okay we are we are at 6 13 now and 
I want to thank everyone. Thank you, Michelle, for asking. Thank you for everyone who puts up your questions on um, the, the, the chat. And now we're just going to really practicalize this meditative prayer or any kind of prayer. Um, Luita is going to be leading us in um, a short session of prayer. And in this session, we'll also be praying for those who have sent in their prayer requests. And so if you want your prayer requests to be prayed on, please go on Slido and we will do all of that prayers in the next few minutes. Thank you so much, Rita, so we can take on from now. Okay, thanks, Maureen. That was that was really brilliant. Okay, so what we'll do is, first off, we will try, I'll we'll give you just two minutes or three minutes um, to, to you, know, you know, just one promise. Or even if it's one, see yourself and pray your way through, um, just as we've learned today. Um, um, but before I go into that, um, while I was praying, um, the Spirit of God dropped in my heart three different cases so um so there's someone here and um, you have a problem with your wrist um i just could see like a wrist and then that there's a pain there's pain there and um, so if you're that person god wants to heal you and um, so right where you are we'll just speak a word i am over you um, as we as we pray and there's also someone here your you have a headache um, it felt like the left side of your head and at the moment you're actually lying down because you you you, you feel that that pain and um, god also has 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 brought healing to you and finally someone is worried about finances um, and god is saying that know that i'm your source and i'll never cause you to lack so if you're any of those three people as we pray we'll pray generally and and you just want to see just want you to receive that word and um possess that which you god has already given um so we'll start off um thanking god um for his goodness and thanking him for all he has given that's a good place to start the father i thank you you have given me all things all things richly to enjoy everything i need for life and godliness has been delivered delivered into my hands i thank you you have supplied all my needs all my needs according to your riches in glory now in the next second or in the next minute i want you to begin to see what exactly it is that you so desire see it done and begin to praise him from there see it done because it is it is it is god will begin to drop a word in your heart he will lay the visions that he had, that his spirit of god is bringing to you you are seeing it see as you saw success what is success to you you can see it you can see it. you can see what your post covid looks like many people are seeing doom and gloom but you will see that you see you see that there is plenty for you that where men saw casting down you're seeing a lifting in la boche kalago se pradisi casta e pradiso fenagemesho se hende in the name of the lord jesus we thank you for Father, but deliverance has come to someone right here. Someone has been struggling in their mind. In your mind, you've been struggling. You've been, you've been fighting battles in your own mind. But the Lord is freeing you. See yourself free. What does it look like? What does it look like to be free? Don't just say I'm free. What does it look like? Because that's who you are. That's who, that's the person that Jesus died for. That's the person that Jesus shed his blood for. See yourself free. The, 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 the addictions don't have to hold you. Those habits don't have to hold you. You're an angry person. You're an angry person, but you can be free. You don't like like you don't like it but you can be free see yourself you see yourself walking in love see yourself fully pleasing god's will and then when you see yourself you, you keep saying the word i'm full of love the love of god is shed abroad in my heart hallelujah i'm able to do all things the things i couldn't do i can do them because the spirit of god is at work in me glory to god come and pray where you are if you can pray in the spirit as you see those things keep praying and then I'll begin to call out the, 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 the Bible passages and then we'll end with a, 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 a declaration at the end. I'll call out the, 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 the request that I've gone in, but just keep praying, keep, keep praying meditatively. See what God has said it out, say it out loud till it's like you're roaring it. Is giving on to me. It's giving on to me. I have funds for my business. That's for somebody. I have funds for it. I have funds for it. I have funds for it. Enough, 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 enough to meet all my needs. I lack nothing, nothing. I lack no good thing. Hallelujah. I'm walking. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm walking in my inheritance. Glory to God. Okay, someone is praying. They're going to pray collectively. So you pray, pray as you're praying. 
this is intercessory prayer. So wherever you are, you're going to pray. Someone is praying that the Lord will cause them to walk in purpose. Oh, hallelujah. That's God's delight. It's God's will that you prosper. It's God's will that you walk in his purpose. It is his own will. And so it is granted unto you. Walk in God's will. Receive the hearing here. Receive a seeing eye. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Someone is praying for healing. They've been sick for over 13 years. Let's claim healing right now. We know it's given, right? Let's receive it for them. Whatever healing that they desire for that sickness, we declare just as that woman was bound in 18 years. And the Bible says, Jesus said, ought not this daughter of Abraham to be free? Is she not supposed to be free? We declare in the name of Jesus. Freedom comes to you. Healing comes to you right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone says, I've heard, um, someone says, um, the doctors have told me that the illness I have cannot be cured i have held on to faith that god will heal me i love i love prayer in regard to this um so we are going to pray for that person the doctor says something but there's a there's a god who made the doctors he's the creator of doctors and so that's just a fact but well, god has the truth the word of god is truth. let's speak over that person right now because they are coming back with a testimony glory to god father we thank you for that illness that the doctor said was incurable hallelujah with men it may be impossible but with god all things all things all things are possible glory to god someone is praying um that they pass their driving their full driving test um and to get their naturalization. Let's pray for that favor. You receive that. I want that person who, who prayed, if you're on this, if you're on this call at this moment, if you pray that prayer, just say, I, I have it to yourself with that passport. See yourself with it and pray. I have all that I need. God, God, God gives me an inheritance here because God gave the Israelites a land that they did not build. <laughs> There's someone saying, I like to pray for my eyes. I've been told that I have an eye condition um, that cannot be fixed. God's healing is reaching out. It's come on, let's guys, let guys, let's let's pray that the Lord heals those eyes. Even right now, as we speak, those eyes are free, free from every form of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, someone is saying, "I feel very down, um, and I'm struggling mentally and with suicidal thoughts." I mean, let's command that demon of, of suicide. Let it be gone right now. In the name of Jesus, we bow to the name of Jesus. We we take captive those thoughts. We take captive those thoughts. In the name of Jesus. We cast down every imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and we release peace. Someone is asking for peace of mind, so we release the peace of God to your mind, to your body, to your spirit. God wants you whole, body, soul, spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Rakabo Seteya. I believe we are all praying. Come on, man, Someone is praying for a life partner. Someone wants to serve God, and that was someone that will serve God with him. So we pray the name of Jesus. God gives you a life partner that will serve God with you. You will begin to see someone who is so on fire for God as you are. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, someone is asking that the relationship with God will be restored. Let it be so for you. In the name of Jesus, there are thoughts of self condemnation. There is um, thoughts of fear. We come against them in the name of Jesus. We cast them down in the name of Jesus. We pray Pray for all around success, all around success, all around success. Glory to God. Settlement for finances, for education. Oh, yeah, you got it there because I just said someone is receiving funds for what they need. Whatever funds you need, it is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Libro sete kabahasiata pray help from every angle god god's help reaches to you in the name of jesus let's begin to thank god for answered prayers let's thank god for answered prayers for those that are seeking um someone is saying here condemnation, anything that has to do with your mind, you are free. You are free indeed. No fear can hold you captive. You are free. See yourself free. See yourself free. Glory to God. And for those that do not know the Lord, the Lord has the Lord, the Lord's desire is that you be saved, is that you be turned to righteousness. Let's pray that as a reason by the reason of our of our of our gathering tonight, souls will be saved, lives transformed because God's desire is that we all prosper and be held even as our soul prospers. What shall it profit a man if against the old world and loses his soul so we pray that the lord will save souls that you know as many people that are not saved in your family why not begin to call their names and say lord reach out to them reach out to them in the name of jesus let's captivate and arrest the heart oh god with your love yes god for your love changes us hallelujah we thank you god we give you praise perfect your own perfect apartment it is yours in the name of jesus father we thank you and we give you praise and um, just as just as we just said the prayer um for anyone who who, who would like 
to um, give their life to Christ. If there's anyone at all who's saying, Lord, I really want to start this journey with you, um, please raise your hand and we will um, I, uh, we will just say that prayer with you. We'll just use the raise hand button and then we'll say um, the prayer of salvation with you. Um, is there anyone like that who wants to just rededicate their lives and, and say, Lord, I make a decision to follow you. Um, I make a decision to love you with all my heart. If there's anyone, just raise your hand with the raise hand button and then we will pray with you the prayer of salvation. Um, there are forms that will be coming to you so that you can fill them later. So just raise your hands and then we're going to um, say that prayer with you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, oh God. Yeah. We give you praise. 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 You praise. Is there anyone like that that would like to say the prayer of salvation? Just make sure that you're raising your hand so that we know. Um, and then we'll just say it together. Okay, let's say it together. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord for saving me, my soul. I am now a child of God. If you've just said that prayer, you are a child of God. The spirit of God has come into you, into your life, into your spirit. And now you can know the things of God, things that are freely given to you. If you said it, please also fill the form that, has, that our host has just put in the chat room um, as well so that you can, we can um, reach out to you after now and then also there's some of you who have asked, who have asked questions about um, speaking in tongues uh, it's God's desire that you should speak in tongues because it's, it's, it's the spirit of God giving you utterance so also if you'd like to be baptized in the Holy Spirit please um, leave also fill in the form that you're seeing right there or in the chat room, fill that form, and we will have a separate session for you where we'll um, we'll take you. Um, the Spirit of God will, will will take you on that journey as well. So if you like to pray in the Spirit, if you like to speak in tongues and pray in the Spirit, be baptized in the Holy Ghost. That's for you. We'll arrange a teaching and prayer session for the baptism of the Spirit for you. And um, so uh, please do that as well. Okay. And um, so um, on that note. We'll just thank you so much, Rita. Thanks for the prayers. And we just want to say thank you to everyone who has been on the call today. It's been such an amazing time. And even as we wrap up, um, we want to remind you that God loves you. God, it's, it is God's prayer for you to continue to grow in the spirit, to continue to grow in prayer. And that's why we've shared some of all of these things that we, we have today. This session continues tomorrow, um, same time, 5 p.m. to half 6 p.m. You can please send the link to somebody. Um, you just never know what they would gain from it. Don't be, don't be you know, self-centered. Be free, free enough to share the link. If you can, also follow us on social media. I'm Maureen Iwa at Hepsi Per Expressions and um, Rita Douglas at Voice of Dynasty, Debola Oriade at Debola Oriade on Instagram. And you can find us on social media. We'll be very, very glad um, to meet you. If there is anything Thing, um, as well the, um, that you have learned from this session, you know, send the DM, tell us, put on your story, um, your highlights from today's session. And one of the hosts is going to share a link of feedback form um, in the chat box now that you can please help us um, to, to let us know how we did, let us know what sessions that were great for you. We're really, really, really looking forward to your feedback. And as I'm just looking at the screen, I'm seeing all of the, the messages coming in, um, people really saying thank you. We're really glad that you joined. Uh, we would not have had a prayer class if we were just the three of us. Um, thank you so much for joining us. And as we just wrap up, we again, I want to reemphasize that, especially yesterday when we were teaching, we talked about speaking in tongues where people had so many questions around speaking in tongues and we've decided to create a special session of teaching and prayer we'll go through the scriptures because there's such a lot of confusion around that subject and we'll, i really really get to pray so if you want to um experience the spirit of god in that kind of dimension please um feel the the the, the um, click on the link that's shown on your screen now and we'll organize such um, a session for you so at this point we just want to say thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you everyone we're looking 
looking forward to seeing you tomorrow again, um, same time as we continue on the last session. So tomorrow is the last day of this prayer masterclass. Let's make it, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's make it go all out. Everyone going all out, sharing and sending a message to their friends. Uh, we're going to say thank you and bye-bye at this point. Now as we start a final word of prayer, Lord, we want to thank you. We're so grateful for your word. We're so grateful for your spirit that's allowed, that has allowed us to experience you in this way. And Father God, we say thank you. We say thank you. Lord, above all, we pray that the spirit of prayer is going to rest upon each and every one of us today for those far in Nigeria, here in Cork, in Dublin, uh, wherever that they come from, oh God, let there be an impartation of your spirit. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in advance for the answers to the prayers that we have prayed. We're thanking you for the finances that have been restored. We're thanking you for the spiritual lives that have been that have been restored. We're thanking you for the grace that has been released. Thank you, God. We give all glory and all honor to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye from all of us. Bye.